How's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel, this is Big Breda and today I'm bringing you a comparison between the three jokers available in the market at this moment. We got the one in the left which is from Toys Era, who was the first one to be released, in the middle the M Toys version and on the right side the just recently released SW Toys version. We are going to check the outfit, the head sculpts, so that you can have an idea and if you need a joker for your collection, if you're still searching for a joker to fit in your collection, you can follow the link in the description and use the code BIGBREDA to save some money in the checkout. So here are the accessories that these figures come with and we are going to start, I'm not going into detail on each one, there are plenty of reviews on YouTube about this. I have made a review of the Toys Era 1 and SW Toys 1, I didn't make a review from the M Toys 1, but you can search, there are plenty out there. But starting with the pistols, you can see that the pistol from uh, Toys Era is all in black, the one from M Toys has this metal color and black, and the one from SW Toys, it's the one more accurate to the movie. As I, as I check the movie, it's exactly the color of the SW Toys, but it's also the smaller one. In fact, I think the one from Toys Era is a bit big and very heavy. The one from uh, M Toys, it's all made of plastic. And the one from, from um, SW Toys is made of plastic as well. It's just a detail, but I think if we are going to accuracy uh, with the movie, the one from SW Toys is the one more accurate. Passing now to the flowers, the flowers on the SW Toys are a bit um, more simple, but they are using the same material as the one from Toys Era. The Toys Era one are much uh, bigger, the flowers, and the one from M Toys, I think uh, this should be the worst flowers accessory ever produced for a 1-6 scale figure, because it's just horrible, doesn't re uh, resemble anything. Passing now to the mask, the masks they are almost all the same, however the one from Toys Era and the one from M Toys, M Toys uh, went very cheap on this air, they only had a little bit, they both have elastics in the back, the one from SW Toys doesn't have any elastic and this one is a matte finish while these two are a shining finish. And you can see they are almost the same but the one from SW Toys is a bit bigger than the other, than the other two. Passing to the cigarettes, the cigarette is nothing special, it's just a very small thing. The M Toys, they, it's horrible, this cigarette I really don't like. The one from uh, Toys Era is the one that looks a bit better and the one from M Toys is um, similar to the one from um, M Toys but the Zev here, the, um, the feeling that the cigarette is lit up. Overall, these are the accessories that they are shared together the same. Then the Toys Era 1, there's, they also has a display stand and of course the Toys Era 1 offer two extra head sculpts, while the M Toys 1 and the SW Toys, there is only one head sculpt with the figure. This is the, the extra head sculpt that comes with the Toys Era 1, looks much better than the, the water that we see just now, but for this comparison we are looking at serious uh, expressions, not smiling ones, if, uh, if we judge a smiling one, I cannot say this is the best because the one they pack with the humorist, the one that has the extra blood in the face and in the mouth looks much, much better. Focusing now at the green shirt, at the pattern, the design of the green shirt, Arthur shirt in the movie does have some, some circles, some balls, some effects on the shirt. In this one, the Toy Zero one those patterns are too big, are too large, are not so accurate. In the SW Toys they are more accurate, they are smaller, they are not as detailed, but as they are smaller it can pass much better. As the one from the M Toys, it's very difficult to distinguish any pattern, the overcoat is also difficult to open, 
I know if I will try if I try to open it, I will break the buttons. So I will disregard um, this detail about the M toys because the pattern is not very well detailed in the shirt as well. I think for this one, I'm more inclined for the one from SW Toys because the one from Toys Era is a bit exaggerated the size of the pattern and the design. Taking a closer look now at the yellow coat, the undercoat that goes under the red coat, the one that looks more similar, actually there are two, is the M Toys 1 and the SW Toys. The one from Toys Era, the yellow, it's too pale, it should be more dark yellow with a more vivid color it doesn't have enough color while the m toys one has here this detail that is more accurate to the movie the sw toys does a bit round here it's not a big uh, uh, problem but if we go for the accuracy to the movie i think the m toys one is a bit more accurate but color wise i think the sw toys and the m toys nailed it pretty well Checking now the red coat, which is the one that most people have the bigger issues. I think right from the start, the Toys Era 1, this one, it feels very large and a bit baggy for the body of Joaquin Phoenix that is very thin. This, um, this coat, at least in my opinion, it looks too large and doesn't feel propor proportional to the body. The one from M Toys, for me, is a problem as well because it's, it's too long. This is like a raincoat. They did it too long. Even the coat looks nice, but for me, it's really too long. I still go with the SW Toys on this one. It's shorter. It's not baggy at all. Fits just right in the figure. And I think it looks much better than any of the three. They all pretty well did the design very well. The material used by Toys Era is very good. is a much better material than the M Toys 1 or the SW Toys 1. But if you can see here in the Toys Era 1, just see the size of these pockets. They are tremendously big. They look kind of horrible. The one from M Toys, the pockets are a bit big as well. But the one of SW Toys... The pockets are much smaller. They just are more proportional for all the outfit of the figure. But this is just my opinion. You are free to have your own opinion. Maybe you prefer a, a larger coat or a coat with a bigger pockets. I just uh, give you the impression I have from the movie and what do I think it looks better. Passing now to the trousers and shoes. Starting with the Toys Era 1. The trousers on this one, it always look very large to me, very bulky. I didn't like as much, but with some adjustments, of course, you can make these trousers look a bit um, thinner or skinnier. Because uh, Joaquin Phoenix actually lost a lot of weight and uh, the, um, the trousers look very, very thin when he is using them. The one from M Toys looks a bit better. I don't like so much these lines that they use here. You can see the lines there. I don't like so much. And also the color. M Toys, the color is a bit more orange than red. It's not that, uh, that bright red. While the, um, the one from Toys Era, the red is very bright and is done also in a material that is similar like silk. Then we got the one from M Toys. Is the simple one. You cannot. You can see only a very thin lines on the sides, but they are also the ones that fit better in the legs. They are the mo more, more uh, thinner and more skinnier uh, trousers of of these three. Passing now to the shoes, I just check a picture from the movie. And uh, right off the bat, we will remove the one from Toys Era. Even the shoes are nice. They are not accurate to the movie. They are not. They are too dark brown. This dark brown, it's not accurate to the movie. 
the one from M Toys and the one from SW Toys are more accurate. Actually, the one from M Toys because it has the black uh, in the front and in the black ear as well is the one that is a bit more accurate. Even I don't like the finish, the painting they did in the shoes. They are too shiny. They don't look so well. The one from SW Toys is the same color as the one from from M Toys, but here they use the the stripes in a, a brown color, which is not completely accurate. But I still prefer these shoes than the one from M Toys because of the painting finish. M Toys use more a matte finish. Uh, M Toys uses more a shining uh, finish on the shoes. Taking a closer look now at the head sculpt, for me, as these three figures, they are all with a more serious expression, I'm going to disregard this one from Toys Era because it doesn't resemble Joaquin Phoenix. The paint app is also not that good. It's too pale. They didn't use enough paint. They could make a better job. They have the other head sculpt, the smiling one that looks much better and we will see it just in the bit. But for this one, I'm going to remove the one from Toys Era and we are going to focus only in the one from SW Toys and the one from M Toys. But guys, judging from this, um, from this um, view, I don't know, I think it's the, the one from SW Toys looks much more like Joaquin Phoenix. Anyway, it's, it's different people have different opinions, but I think it's the one from M Toys doesn't look as much as the one from SW Toys. This is just my opinion. Of course, uh, everyone has their own opinion and there's their own uh, idea about how does the character look like but we can use the put that sculpt a bit down for it to see a bit better in some ways it seems that the m toys one is much thinner the face the the um, the face is much thinner than the one from sw toys but anyway they are both good head sculpts on his own it's just a matter of preference which one you like more one thing I forgot to mention before is that the Toys Era Joker is a bit taller than the other two. The SW Toys and the M Toys one, they are almost the same height. The Toys Era is indeed a bit taller. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this comparison. If you were to ask me which one I prefer, because I own the three and I have the Homerist as well, but for these three, if you ask me, First, you think about the price. The one, the exp more expensive one is the Toys Era that is go goes around $190. Then you got the M Toys around $160. And you have the SW Toys that goes around $115 or $110. I, I don't remember. So you can see that the prices are a bit, difference, bit different between the three. There's a big difference between the one from SW Toys and the one from Toys Era. But the one from Toys Era does come with three head sculpts. However, if I was to choose just one Joker for my collection, at this moment I will choose the one from SW Toys. If you want to get any of these Jokers, you can follow the link in the description and use the code BIGBROTHER to save some cash in the checkout. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't. That's all for today. I will see you in the next one.